Hi everybody, how y'all doing? This is I think just over Rachel. So um I had been wanting to come on and do a video about this, um, but it kept changing because my situation kept changing. Um I was diagnosed with CFS, kind of differential diagnosis. Um because I was describing some things, you know, to my doctor, and he's seen me for years, about four years here. So um He's really seen consistently what's been going on. And so he finally said, let's take some blood and see if it's, uh, um, what did he call, oh, it's the, oh, what's that virus? <laughs> Epstein-Barr, that's right. So, and then he said, yeah, but if you don't have that, then by differential diagnosis, I'm going to call it, I'm going to say it's CFS. It's different than fibromyalgia, so. I was finally getting, you know, the confirmation of what I've been experiencing since 89 and then most specifically really started in 92. So this is how long I've been dealing with it. And just varying, you know, experiences of that, you know, as far as more intense and less intense. Um, just a lot of stress built up. So, and that's one of the ways that it expressed itself it was kind of like an overload or shutdown of my uh, nervous system. Best way I could describe it. There are so many different ways to approach this naturally, and you'll find there's, <laughs> you know, just hundreds of options. There really, really are. And um, whatever appeals to you, however you like to do your research, um, you know, just make sure that you gather all the information from many different sides so that you're able to look at different people's opinions regarding it to make a, a decision for yourself. So while I was doing my research, one of the things that I found out um, had to do with the hypothalamus. And uh, because I have another hormonal issue from PCOS, you know, polycystic ovarian syndrome, I thought, you know, with one hormone being out of whack, if this other one is as well, they would play together. <laughs> it would be a perfect storm. So one of the things about uh, PCOS is definitely a marker of deficiency happens to be of B12. And um, so I researched all about B12 as far as how it's used for CFS and for PCOS. Okay. So I decided, yeah, okay, I'm going to go to a naturopath um, because you need to have the injections. You're not going to be able to gather enough just from, you know, even a liquid vitamin B. And you can't eat enough meat. You wouldn't want to anyways um, to acquire it. And your body might not even um, know how to break it down to absorb it right, um, which is probably how you have this deficiency. I've also had um, anemia, like like anemic conditions where I did, wasn't having enough iron, but it's been found that the two of those are kind of linked. So if you've got one symptom and you might have another. So I did decide to go to a naturopath and um, I got my first B12 shot last week. And I think I sort of felt like a whiff of something that was supposed to be happening <laughs> for about an hour. And, uh, and this was 5,000, 5, yeah, it was five grams. So, <laughs> um, you know, I was like, well, I think I'm on to something definitely, but it, it's certainly not, um, enough. In other words, going back and back and back, you know, definitely needing to. Um, so the second time I went, the second week here and the first day, I didn't really feel anything. I kind of, sort of did, but it was so, it was so mellow of a wave. It was like not even really noticeable. Today, however, um, I feel like a human being, like a well-centered person who's not feeling pain all the time. Um, just my outlook, my energy level is like, wow. By noon, I even said this to my husband, it's funny. I was like, I feel about 10 years younger and he's like really and I'm like yeah and then three hours later by like three o'clock I just joked with him I said "Hun, I'm aging in reverse he says what do you mean I'm like I feel as good now as I did about 14 years ago 
He's like, really? I'm like, yeah, stuck at 29 forever. <laughs> so I don't know what's going to happen next week when I go again. Um, but I think I'm definitely on to something that's working for me. And um, if you have the chance to uh, meet with a nature path and ask them if it's right for you, I really encourage it. Um, so I finally have the good story to tell about the CFS rather than the, oh, these are all the terrible things about the CFS. I did make a video um, just on different things about it, and I'm not sure if I'm going to release it, but uh, if, if you want it, let me know, and I'll send it to you personally. So I hope everyone's doing well, and I wish you all bright blessings and peace. Take care.